Okay guys, so this video here I want to show why I chose the Xantrax ProSign 1800 uh, inverter for my inverter of choice to go with my DIY lithium ion or lithium I should say, I guess it is lithium ion uh, battery bank. And again, this is six cells um, of the Nissan Leaf battery configured in such a way that it's really putting out uh, around a max of 25.2 volts. Uh, so one of the reasons I chose this was because of its high um, over voltage alarm and it's more importantly the under voltage alarm and under voltage shutdown. So if you're familiar with inverters at all, uh, you'll know that uh, the inverter will shut off when a battery voltage gets too low, and it'll also shut off if it's too high. And so this particular inverter, inverter which is a, a Xantrex 24-volt um, DC to 120-volt AC, uh, the specs are kind of in the sweet spot for this lithium-ion conversion uh, that I have, and I'll show you what I mean by that. So if you look... Well, first, I guess we should start by well, what does the what does the uh, battery configuration look like? So, what I have is, and we should know that each cell, the maximum really is uh, we want to go is four point one. Uh, the technically it's four point two, uh, but the reason uh, it says four point one is you, you don't really want to push this battery to four point two. Uh, or you can shorten its life, okay? So for all intents and purposes, let's just use 4.1 for this example. So uh, each battery, and I don't want to confuse things, uh, for the purpose of this conversation, each one of these, and we'll call six batteries, uh, there's really two ba there's really four batteries inside of this. But each pack um, is four, we'll call it 4.1 volts. So if we have two of those inside of there, you can take 4.1 times that by two, and we get 8.2. Now the way I have it configured uh, is they're in series and in parallel, but really what it gives us is 24.6. Now remember I said earlier, uh, 25.2 would be the maximum. That is as if you put 4.2 and did the same math I just did, and I guess I, I should show you just so you uh, aren't confused. So if I take 4.2 and times that by um, 4.2 times 2, and then times that by 3, you will see the 25.2. So that's the maximum my pack will get. And if I come over to the chart here, the DC over voltage shutdown is not that does not happen until 32 volts and the warning is at 31.6 so my pack will never cause an over voltage shutdown which is great now we have to concern ourselves more importantly with this other part is what part will this shut down and how much battery will I have left uh, because it's quite possible if you have a different inverter your shutdown uh, it might shut down too early and you still might have a, a good percentage of your battery left that you didn't use. So just to do the quick math, if we go back over here and let's just say we took this thing all the way down uh, according to this uh, Nissan chart. Uh, now again, we know that lithium ion can go lower than uh, 3.6. We can get down to you know probably 3.0 before you had any, any serious damage. But to keep it safe, they recommend going to 3.6. Now the knee, which is the point where you know you really aren't getting any extra wattage and the voltage is dropping uh, at a fast point, is right around 3.6 uh, to 3.5. So uh, I would suggest that you know we just look at this as an example. So we come back over here and we show. Let's go 3.6. And let's times that by two, and we times that by three. So we're at 21.6, okay? So the good news about this is 
we're gonna get an alarm at 21.0, right? Well, we're, you know, if we take it to the safe zone, we should never hit that because we should be 21.6. But here's where it gets really interesting. It's gonna beep, it's gonna say, hey, at 21, I'm gonna start sending an alarm, right? Uh, warning, warning, warning. And at 20, it's gonna shut down. So what does that mean to us? Well, let's just show you. If we took 20, right? Divided it by three and divide that by two. That's the thing, the voltage that this inverter is gonna shut off on and it's not gonna drain the battery any further. So why is that important and really good for us? Because at 3.33, um, technically, you know, we're above the 3.0 of damaging the battery. So 3.33, yeah, the battery is pretty much low, but in my opinion, we haven't really hurt uh, the battery. So, and again, remember, the alarm's going to shout at 21. Now let's do the math on 21. So 21 divided by 3 divided by 2. Look at that, 3.5 volts, which is almost perfect. The alarm's not gonna come on until 3.5, and that's where we want it to come on anyway. So this inverter and its DC input under voltage and under voltage alarm are almost ideal for this configuration of battery that I have. So I wanna take this one step further and I wanna test the voltage alarm now on this inverter. So all I have here right now is I don't have the pack connected, but what I do have is the battery charger connected and I have my um, probes for my multimeter connected. So <clears throat> remember this power supply will, it's rated at 32 volts, but you know, technically it'd probably go a little higher than that, uh, which is great for us because we want to test the high. Remember the high is at 32, so we should get a shutdown at 32 and we should get a warning at 31.6, and we're gonna test the highs and the lows. So what I suggest is we test the highs first. And the multimeter, um, I, I, we technically we don't need this because it has a voltage alarm, it has a voltage readout on, um, on the inverter itself, but I wanna just kinda get a comparison of the two so you can see, there I got them both in the, in the picture here. As you can see, they're very relatively close to each other, 24.9 and 25.2. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do now is crank this up. Uh, and what we're looking for, again, sorry to move the camera around so much, is at 31.6, we should it should start to beep and it should say, hey, you have a high voltage, right? At 31.6. And 32, it should shut off too much voltage. Now, this isn't going to be a problem for us because we're never going to get that high with this battery pack, but um, I guess there could be, you know, a fault or some reason that it could get that high, and we want to know if this inverter is going to shut off. We're going to see if it can live up to what, what those ratings say. So what I'm going to do here now is I'm just going to crank our uh, voltage slash amperage uh, knob up, and you're going to see the voltage increase. Now remember, 31.6 alarm and 32 shut down for high. So I'm gonna start turning it up. I'm gonna turn it up kind of slow until we can get hopefully somewhere around 31.6. That's the magic number according to the manual. So on the one side we're at 31.8 and 31.1 over there. Let's go a little higher. Okay, did you hear it chirp? It hit 31.6 and it's chirping. Now over here, it's a 31.6 high battery, which is great. Now let's take it to 32 and see what happens. Okay, 30, shutdown, you see it? Okay, high battery shutdown, 33 volts. Now we're just gonna back it off. I don't think the alarm's gonna go away, but let's see, it shouldn't. No, it did, no, it didn't. Okay, which is great, okay? So we have a fault, now we're back at 27 volts, so we're good, but the inverter said, hey, there was a problem. I need to do, I'm gonna shut down. So let's just shut it down. Okay. So what we're gonna do now is power it back up and we're gonna test the low side.
So now we're back to 24 volts. And remember, on the low side, this is the more important setting to me. Um, at 21, we should get an alarm. And at 20, we should get a shutdown. Okay? So remember, 21 and 20. So let's go back over here. We're going to turn the dial down this time. So we're at 24, 4, 23. Remember, we're looking for 21. Slowly getting there. Get it right down to okay there it was okay so 20.9 almost 21 you see the low battery so there's your alarm right that says hey batteries are low um which is good now we're going to go a little further when we get to 20 it should uh go into shutdown so let's see i'm going to back it down a little more batteries are wearing down Going right at the 20. Okay. 19.8. So there it goes. So it just went into a shutdown. Okay. 16.6. Low battery shutdown. And there you go. So you can see that this is perfect um, for what we need it to do.